Hello esteemed viewers, welcome to our math tutorial for today. In our math tutorial today, we are going to solve this math Olympiad question that says if x to the power of 5 to the power of x is equal to 6 to the power of y is equal to 30, evaluate x plus y divided by x y. I love math Olympiad because their questions are always logical and you need real logical reasonings to solve such question. Now from this question, you are note we are told that 5 to the power of x is equal to 6 to the power of x and both of them are equal to 30. So we'll see how we are going to find and evaluate this value that is given to us. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. Also remember to also click the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload our daily mass Olympiad solution question content. Now let's solve this question. From this expression, you'll come to see that 5 to the power of x is equal to 30 from that expression and also 6 to the power of y is equal to 30. So having seen this, we can also realize that 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30. That cannot be disputed. But then, if we want to multiply 5 to the power of x multiplied by 6 to the power of x, will it give us 30 or 30 to the power of xy? It's not possible. Why? Because there is no law in indices that can help us solve this because they don't have the same base and for the fact that they don't have the same words, the same power. So this cannot be possible. So we need to apply logic in man manipulating this question in order to solve this question. So what logic can we apply? Now, to solve this question, let's now assume that we have 5 to the power of x, y. And we say this is equal to 30 raised to power x. And if we also say that we have 6 to the power of x, y. And this is equal to 30 to the power of y. I think this is a bit reasonable. If we apply that logic here, we can now simply say that 5 to the power of xy can now multiply 6 to the power of xy. Why? Because they have same exponent and this can be equal to 30 to the power of x multiplied by 30 to the power of y. Why? Because they have the same base. So if we multiply this, we are going to have 5 times 6 will give us 30 to the power of xy equal to 30 to the power of x plus y. Remember the law of indices. Once you have same base, same base, you add the power. That's exactly what we did here. So to simplify this expression, because we have same base, the exponent will do what? The exponent will have to uh, equate. So we'll have our xy to be equal to x plus y. To simplify this, we'll divide both sides by xy, divide this side by xy. Why xy will clear xy to give us one, and this will be equal to x plus y divided by x, y. Now recall what our expression is. Our initial expression, we are asked to evaluate x plus y divided by what? x, y. Now let's go back to our solution. From our solution, we have come to see that uh, finally that our x plus y divided by x, y is equal to 1. This is the solution to that exponential equation that is given to us above.
If you do enjoy this class, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also remember to share this video with your friends and colleagues. Bye-bye.